actually we will do a sleeper cab where we can send drivers out for multiple days at a time as we expand the charging network. According to the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, fatigue ranks seventh in frequency as a factor contributing to long haul truck accidents, prompting manufacturers of these heavy duty vehicles to pay more attention to building a sleeper cab behind the driver's seat for convenience. Tesla has come to understand this gradually, as Dan Priestley, the company's head of engineering, inadvertently revealed in an interview. So, why does Tesla need to produce a big rig sleeper cab? Currently, Tesla offers two versions of the Semi for widespread use and testing. The 300-mile and 500-mile variants, which do not meet the standard of a long-haul truck designed for overnight operations. This aligns perfectly with Tesla's previous statements regarding their product being a day cab model rather than a sleeper cab. According to statistics from 2023, there are 1.2 million long-haul trucks operating in the United States equipped with sleeper berths, including some models with full amenities, accounting for 67% of the total long-haul truck volume nationwide. Surely there must be something that's made them increasingly popular in recent times. Indeed. According to a report from the U.S. National Library of Medicine, long-haul truck drivers in their study slept less than necessary to remain alert in their work. The most vulnerable time for sleep or sleep-like states is during late night and early morning hours. Therefore, fatigue and lack of sleep are significant safety issues for long-haul truck drivers. It is crucial that the Tesla Semi, with its unique design featuring only two seats, one for the center driving position in the spaceship, and one behind for a backup driver, it seems to have a surplus of rear passenger seating. This is an excellent time for a sleeper berth design rather than an unused seat because traffic regulations prohibit drivers from waiting for cargo for extended periods without resting in the United States. After eight consecutive hours of driving, drivers must take a 30-minute break before continuing operations. During this rest period, a berth would be an ideal place for drivers to relax when they cannot find a suitable place to stop and significantly save money on accommodation expenses. Imagine you're a truck driver, not just an ordinary person. You're in good money, you're paid by the mile and go out on the road for two weeks at a time. Home for a few days, then repeat. You're in 1500 bucks a week. That's really good money, 78 grand a year, but you're never home. You have four to five days out of the month at home. You drive until you can't legally drive anymore or have to stop because there's not a rest stop within 200 miles. You can still drive for three and a half hours, but when you get there, there's no sleeping spot, so you're stuck. If you find a hotel, they might not have truck parking, so you might have to park somewhere else and walk or hitch a ride. Then you gotta pay for an overnight room. That could be $80 to $150, and if you do that for two weeks straight, half your check's gone. Now you're gone for weeks at a time and only making $39,000. Maybe they'd rather sleep on a comfortable bed at night, but that's money out of their pocket, and they might be watching over their truck and cargo. Furthermore, the 30-minute break or 15 minutes if drivers can split their rest time is negligible to encourage them to leave the driver's cabin. Although some argue that adding and choosing a sleeper berth is a futile decision, within a driver's 30-minute rest period, the Tesla Semi confidently can recharge 70% of its battery to enable it to operate on longer journeys exceeding 500 miles, especially as Tesla may release a longer-range version in the future for this bullet-shaped truck. The ability to rest and recharge the battery while resting would truly benefit the health of truck drivers. Although not necessary for most shorter trips that don't extend beyond a few days, this option is still essential if Tesla wants to make a mark with this product in the transportation market. Besides, Tesla Semi with a 500-mile range is currently advertised with a selling price of $180,000, although in reality their prices could go up to $250,000. So what would the cost of the Tesla Semi be with the addition of the sleeper cab? Similar to Tesla's new released models, where everything's at the highest price point in the initial days of launch and doesn't adhere to the original claim. Prices will gradually decrease over time to establish stability in the market. Therefore, the price of a Tesla Semi equipped with a sleeper berth in the future will shift significantly. Conversely, Tesla's plans to expand production facilities and scale up charging infrastructure in the future will make the cost of a Semi increasingly cheaper. You could even save up to $200,000, according to Tesla costs analysis, for a truck to travel 300,000 miles. On average, consumers would spend a total of $250,000 on maintenance and fuel costs, which would be saved due to electrification. Electricity is readily available at a price lower than half of fuel. And since electric vehicles have fewer components, maintenance costs would be much lower compared to diesel engines. 
really great driver feedback. And then we're gonna take that time to do a bunch of improvements and bring that into a high volume. Tesla began the production of the Tesla Semi in late 2022 after several years of delay. Shortly after commencing production, the company announced the expansion of Gigafactory Nevada to manufacture this vehicle in large quantities, a plan that we're witnessing being executed to date. This automotive manufacturer has collaborated with Panasonic to deploy new battery production capabilities at the facility, and Tesla has utilized these cells to manufacture battery packs for its vehicles and energy storage products. When initially announcing the factory construction plan, Tesla was talking about the plant producing 105 gigawatt hours of batteries per year, and 150 gigawatt hours per year upon completion. In an interview with Jay Leno, Dan Priestley revealed that Tesla's created 70 Tesla semi-trucks to carry out the user experience gathering plan to prepare for improvements in 2024. We are increasingly seeing more of these big rigs outside of Giga Nevada, indicating an increasing production rate. It's been five months since we knew exactly what was happening at the plant, which is said to be capable of producing five semi-trucks per week. Until Tesla fulfills half of Elon Musk's expectation of producing 100,000 semi-units per year, the Tesla Semi needs a breakthrough change to complete the remaining journey. That change is a sleeper berth version to serve the millions of needs of truck drivers in the United States and beyond, particularly in Europe, where there are stricter regulations regarding truck drivers' rest periods, with drivers allowed to operate on the road for four and a half hours and then rest for 45 minutes before continuing their long journey. What makes the sleeper cab version possible? Firstly, the Tesla semi-tractor has a weight of 25,000 pounds, mainly due to the massive battery pack located directly beneath the floor of the truck. Therefore, increasing a sleeper berth during this time frame would significantly increase the overall weight, resulting in a loss of some operating range. Moreover, the Tesla Semi has a 500-mile operating range, which is relatively low compared to diesel trucks with ranges from 900 to 1,400 miles. Hence, a sleeper berth is quite feasible here if it reduces a few hundred miles of operating range, which would be negligible. However, according to Elon Musk, over 80% of routes in the U.S. are currently less than 250 miles long. Therefore, truck drivers may accept the possibility of sacrificing some range to gain the essential comfort for their back. Furthermore, Tesla has expanded its plan to build a new factory in Germany with Gigafactory Berlin, where there will be a presence of many models with sleeper cab cabins. According to Musk, the presence of the factory here is a sensible decision to assert its position against major automakers in Europe, where ambitious climate goals aim to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55% compared to 1990 levels by 2030 with a clear focus on emission reduction and elimination. Thus, transitioning to zero-emission vehicles like the Tesla Semi will be closely aligned with the policies of European countries. The new Tesla Semi was first introduced in 2017 and is currently undergoing trial production in Nevada. After making a big splash with PepsiCo, the first company to pre-order semis, news about the big rig has been relatively quiet. However, initial reports touted impressive features such as superior operating range, charging efficiency, and performance all demonstrated in tests and real-world operations by early adopters. These features make the Tesla Semi an attractive option for companies looking to reduce carbon emissions and operating costs. The Semi is not the only new product being discussed in Germany. During the visit to this facility, Musk revealed that the next-gen vehicle, currently dubbed Redwood, will be manufactured at Giga Berlin. However, it's challenging to determine a timeline for this development, as Tesla recently stated that everything's ready to bring the vehicle to production at the Austin plant. Elon Musk's recent visit to Giga Berlin occurred after a temporary arson attack disrupted the factory's operations, highlighting the CEO's hands-on approach and steering the company through challenges. Despite the setback caused by the attack, Tesla swiftly recovered. Tesla employees rallied outside the facility to support the company against environmental terrorism attacks. Giga Berlin is evidence of the company's strong reactive mechanism to unforeseen events, ensuring that its ambitious production goals remain on track. As part of the expansion plan, Giga Berlin aims to construct another facility to increase the factory's production capacity from 500,000 units to 1 million units a year. Although the Tesla Semi may not significantly contribute to Giga Berlin's 1 million unit target, it's still a step in the right direction. 
Furthermore, Tesla continues to relentlessly research and improve their battery technology, showcasing new battery generations with higher capacity while significantly reducing the weight of the battery pack over time. Tesla's battery supplier, Panasonic Energy, is considering investing up to $4 billion in its Kansas plant to produce 4680 batteries for the Tesla Cybertruck and Tesla's next generation vehicles. This plan, internally dubbed as the New Face, involves constructing additional production lines at the plant, with Panasonic's $4 billion investment already underway. Tesla, being the primary customer, co-owns a plant with Panasonic in Nevada. Panasonic may utilize this additional capacity to produce advanced 4680 batteries, a type of cylindrical lithium-ion battery with five times the capacity of conventional 2170 batteries. In general, higher capacity means fewer batteries required per vehicle and reduced weight. What will happen to the size of Tesla Semi's trailer? In its current version, the semi-tractor's wheelbase measures at 13 feet in length, 8.6 feet in width, and 13 feet in height. Slightly shorter than the Freightliner Cascadia 126, which is equipped with a sleeper berth. Therefore, if equipped with a compact berth, the semi would need to extend the length of its tractor or utilize the space behind the tractor cab as a sleeping compartment. Additionally, when entering the European market, the dimensions of the truck need to undergo minor adjustments to comply with the standards there. In the United States, the minimum length limit allowed for tractor-trailer combinations is 48 feet or specific state regulations. However, the maximum length limit according to regulations in Europe is 61 and a half feet, which seemingly requires Tesla to reconsider its prominent bullet shape design to enter the market. Indeed, expanding into markets outside North America may pose several challenges for Tesla. Operating efficiently in Europe with stringent requirements regarding weight, size, has presented a challenge for Tesla's electric trucks as it needs to increase load capacity, significantly reduce emissions, and most importantly, incorporate those sleeper compartments. What if Tesla full self-driving made greater progress in the transportation industry? Like all AI products such as ChatGPT and Grok AI programs that Tesla's developing, observers are looking at the future to consider the purchase rate or the percentage of Tesla buyers who would purchase Tesla FSD. Those looking outward are focusing on RoboTaxi, but we see something not only more valuable than RoboTaxi, but also with a faster transition process. That is Robot Truck. Stock analyst Gene Muster estimates that only 5% of new Tesla buyers purchase or subscribe to FSD. If that figure increases to 20% by 2026, then the additional 15% of subscribers will add about $1.1 billion to revenue and nearly $1 billion to net income. Roughly, the increasing adoption is expected to add about 8% to net income by 2026. By 2027, the benefits to net income would be around 15% and 21% by 2028. Another aspect of FSD software's rapid learning is that Tesla will have a clear introduction to China, Asia, and Europe. Additionally, Tesla may attract more previous Tesla owners to apply for FSD. Therefore, if its software continues to improve and becomes safer than most human drivers, combining it with insurance could achieve an acceptance rate of 50% or more. Tesla will succeed with full self-driving and Tesla bot. It may still take two or three more years to achieve full autonomous driving level. This autonomous driving system and FSD have improved the driving experience and enhanced safety while still requiring drivers to pay attention and occasionally intervene. However, FSD and Autopilot are being used across the United States, Canada, Europe, and Asia. Autopilot has been used for over 10 billion miles, and FSD Beta has been used for over 320 million miles. Tesla's FSD Beta is currently adding about 50 million miles per month. It seems that both the speed of travel and the computational power to train AI are increasing exponentially. Robo-trucking will have a more significant impact than robo-taxi in many aspects. If truck drivers were replaced for all 30 million large trucks worldwide, this would change the global supply chain. However, this is only a comfortable estimate if everyone's heading in that direction. Transportation costs in the supply chain could ultimately decrease by over 80%. The driving speed for transporting goods could increase from 55 miles an hour to 110 miles an hour or more. Additionally, robot trucks could drive for 23 hours a day and only stop to recharge. As mentioned earlier, Tesla's AI team recently announced that this software can be trained using driving videos on YouTube. This means the system's independent of camera location. A Tesla Semi worth $180,000 could be supplemented with additional cameras and self-driving computers at a cost of around $20,000 to $30,000 or $5,000 per year plus hardware. 
This means that existing fleets could quickly be converted to remove drivers to provide investment returns in 4 to 12 months. And $5,000 per year applied to all 30 million trucks would be $150 billion per year. This figure would be over 10 times Tesla's current profit. Furthermore, fleet owners will not hesitate to replace human drivers once the system is sufficiently robust, and 70% of drivers can be replaced when there's a safe truck driving system in place. This will indeed happen, but at least until we fully achieve global electrification, truck drivers will still be very much needed. And a 1,000 horsepower electric truck equipped with a sleeper cab remains a top priority. What do you think about this design plan of Tesla? How will RoboTruck replacement be a key to the future? We hope you'll have the most relaxing feelings after watching this video. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Tesla Car World family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe, take care, and God bless.